This is the second of our penguin refrigeration troubleshooting videos, specifically for Danfoss 12 or 24 volt BD35, BD50 compressor fridges. In the first video, we went through the basics of power supply, making sure that there was power coming into the fridge, the light was on, the thermostat was um, turned on, and whether the fridge was cooling. We're now going to look at the electrical problems in more detail. Um, in this example, we have, again, our 12-volt DC power pack giving us slightly under voltage. We'll just turn that up a bit. And our compressor is not giving any cooling to the fridge. So we need to look at why that is the case. The first thing is to check the power. Now, obviously, here we know we've got tw over 12 volts. But on your battery, you can do a simple test with a multimeter. OK, and on this battery, I know I've got 12.57 volts. OK, so I can hear the fan is running. So in theory, everything should be getting cold, but it's not. It doesn't seem that the compressor is running. To confirm this, the easiest way is to unplug the fan. And you should be able to feel the compressor vibrating if it's running. I can't feel any vibration. And if I look at my amps, I've got no amps running. So this compressor isn't running. So I need to work out why. The best way to do that is to use a simple 12 volt LED, something like the one I have here, which I can plug into the controller and it will give me a fault code to tell me why the fridge isn't working. So if we plug this in, hopefully we can find out what's going on. So the positive goes on the small plus which is shared by the fan and the negative goes on the D for diagnostic. Okay so I'm now going to connect the LED onto the problem compressor in the same way but this time I'm going to add the fan onto the positive of the LED so that we've got everything connected. Okay so I've now connected up my LED in the same way that I showed on the other box, it's quite difficult to see with all the other wires here, but I've connected it to the small positive and the D. Okay, so now with my everything connected, I should see a fault code. And I'm getting one flash every four seconds. Okay, now if I refer to my Danfoss book of faults, that will tell me what they call low voltage. So we found our fault code which is fault code 1 and this is low voltage. This means that the controller of the compressor is not getting enough voltage to start. Now quite often the voltage at the battery can be way better than the, what is being seen at the compressor. Um, that's usually caused by voltage drop, a resistance in the wiring or a bad connection somewhere. So one way to test this very easily is to just run your engine. Start your battery charger, that will increase the volts and we should see the compressor start. If that is the case, then you need to just check through your wiring to find out where that resistance or bad connection is. I would also urge you to go to our main website and download our BD35, BD50 fault diagnostic manual which will give you full details of how to check through this and what to look through for in correcting your wiring. Once you've done that, your fridge will be running, the icebox will be getting cold again, you'll have a working fridge. OK, so we found our fault, which is a two flash in four seconds. That generally means that the fan is faulty and is drawing too many amps, causing the compressor to shut down. So we could replace the fan, or just to test and confirm this, the easiest way is generally to just take out the two wires connecting the fan to the controller, which are the small red and black here. I can show you that in close up on this controller. So if we look at the front of the controller, we've got the small plus and the F. If we disconnect one or both of those, the compressor starts. We know that the problem is the fan. It's then a question of removing the fan, confirming the size, and then you can order a replacement online at our website, www.penguinfrigo.co.uk. 
fit that, the fridge will be back up and running, icebox getting cold, everything hunky-dory. Okay, so the next fault code we're going to look at is fault code 3. This is three flashes every four seconds. This is generally caused by interference to the voltage. So the voltage going up and down can be caused by inverters going on or off or sometimes winches on boats. It could also be caused by the pressure in the system. So the very first thing we would suggest you do if you do get a three flash code is to turn the fridge off and leave it for 20 minutes. If you then come back to it, turn it back on again, try and make sure there's no inverters or anything else running in the background. If the fridge runs and everything is good, then we need to check your wire and find out what's causing that interference. And again, you can refer to our Danfoss BD35, BD50 manual for that. If you turn it back on again and you're still getting three flashes and you've got nothing else running in the background, then at that point, it's probably time to take the controller off and return it to us and we'll show you how to do that in just a second. We're not going to demonstrate fault codes 4 and 5 because they both relate to either a failed controller or an issue with the refrigerant and what we would generally suggest if you are getting fault codes 4 or 5 would be to take the controller off and post it back to us. We can then replicate the test and if we get the same results it's a new controller if we don't, that would suggest that perhaps there's something at fault with your refrigerant system and you'd need to call in a refrigeration engineer.